Hello and welcome to Who It Could Have Been, where every week we take a look at a different actor or actress who's up for a big role, but for one reason or another, they didn't quite get it. Where they've been better, worse, or just... Today we'll be talking about a nostalgic comic book classic. Depending on your point of view, <laughs> Batman Returns, the second Tim Burton big screen adaptation of the DC superhero, and the first introduction, big screen introduction, discounting the 1960s show and movie of the Penguin and Catwoman. Before we jump into tonight's casting call, what are what are some of your thoughts on Batman Returns? Real quick, I loved it. I loved how dark Burton went with it, and. Uh, Penguin really freaked me out when I was a kid, but uh, Danny DeVito is a great choice for the role. You know, Michelle Pfeiffer is Catwoman. You know, it's it's one of those really kind of wacky out there ones, but it kind of made sense. You know, it was kind of a weird twist on it. it felt it felt more like a comic book than I would think more of the more recent ones were. You know, it was odd that it was that dark. I mean, there are elements of what the notorious D.O.G. pun man over there was saying is is, that's absolutely correct. It's all over the place and it's it's super dark. Yet it comes out here with penguins with rockets on their back and I'm supposed to take it serious. And somehow I do. It's one of those movies that like, uh, I mean, it's very easy for it to have possibly fallen in the trap. Like, let's say a Sam Raimi Spider-Man 3 where a whole lot of shit is going on. I mean, it's fireball crazy. And and all I can tell you is somehow all those elements were managed. Of course, it didn't hurt things that you had Christopher Walken, Danny DeVino, and Michelle freaking Pfeiffer in there. And listen, I'll tell you what, it's a very special lady that can get a whip scene done on one take. I'll let you boy. I think she was pretty perfect for the role. No, Notorious D.O.G., stay in your lane. Well, Tim Burton had some other ladies in mind for the role. A, lo- a-, a lot of a lot of actresses really wanted it. Some of them getting to the point where they dressed up like the character and went kind of mentally insane, but well, that's for another episode of our show. Real uh- quick, as far as I'm concerned, Batman Returns is the most Tim Burton-y of the two Tim Burton Batman films. Agreed. Quick question, Demos. Like when you're referring to some other actors going crazy and dressing up and 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 and, and all that other stuff, you're not referring to John Leguizamo, Patrick Swayze, or Wesley Snipes with in the Julie Newmar movie, are you? Just checking. Uh, that's a whole different kind of crazy. <laughs> okay, just checking. I, I, I'm just I'm just checking. <laughs> well, could you imagine? somebody else playing Catwoman. Well, I'm sure you can because she's been played by Anne Hathaway. She's been played in her own movie, which I don't want to talk about, Halle Berry. But could you imagine Madonna in the role? Now, once again, this is Dick Tracy era Madonna. I don't know. I don't know if I could have buy her for that. I mean, Michelle Pfeiffer did such a perfect job, no pun intended. Um, She did a really great job of... Being the nerdy uh, Selena Kyle and the, the almost like librarian kind of thing and not really out of the realm of possibility for something that happened to the actual character and turned into Catwoman. You know, you, you I, don't I, see the transition going as well with Madonna as opposed to Michelle Pfeiffer. No, I think she would have overhyped it. I don't think it would have been nearly as good. I think it would have been pretty out of vogue. I mean, there's a lot of material for this girl that, that makes it litter with issues to play Catwoman. But what I'll say is this. For one, I, I mean, Jim nailed it with the whole nerdy thing. It would not be a true nerdy person. It would be Madonna with specs on, right? Oh, look, here's the super, super sexy chick. Oh, but we put glasses on her. She's a nerd now. See, Denise Richards and Christmas only comes once a year. I'm sorry, Pierce Brosnan. I don't believe you. Anyways, um, what? If Demos can make that joke, so can I. Moving on. Anyway. Is that one that I relished? <laughs> Um, well, yeah, exactly. Uh, anyways, no, but, um, I don't see, I don't see her working as Selena Kyle, which is, you know, we, we, we kind of said it unintentionally, I would add as kind of an aside, but if Selena Kyle doesn't work half the movie in the intrigue of Bruce Wayne coming across her is not a thing. And that's, that's a lot of the set piece times when Christopher Walken's character is intimidating her and basically setting the tone of the whole fireball movie. And it's not even borderline. She would have been completely unavailable to do it. See, no one even caught that one, you losers. Anyways, 
being just Catwoman, there are certain scenes in there Madonna could have done. Anything involving the appeal of Catwoman's feminine wiles. And I think she would have done the one scene. How could you? I'm a woman. Oh, I'm sorry. Pat. Punk. Yutch. Anyway, no, but uh, but uh, like I, I I feel like those particular scenes that Madonna been able been, may have been able to pull off. But come on, Madonna is not an accomplished actress. She's kind of a sideshow, and she's a singer first. And that's not to knock her talents per se, but let's call it what it is. Well, she pulled it off very very well in Dick Tracy, but at the same time, they used her strengths in that film. She and only those. You can say the same for Evita as well. Yeah, Catwoman even has the same hairstyle that Madonna had in Dick Tracy at certain points of the film. So I, I can see that. I can see her playing Catwoman after the transition, but I think I'm with you guys. I don't necessarily buy her as Selena Kyle before the transformation. And if you don't sell that, you don't sell the character. I don't necessarily think that it would have ruined the movie. I think that once she transitioned... And we saw her as a character, people would have liked her regardless. I think she could have pulled that off. But it makes it a stronger film, I think, with Michelle Pfeiffer doing the complete think, character. It makes it severely less, right? And and Batman Returns got some... So like, it's, it's a high enough quality movie where certain aspects of it was Academy nominated. I forget what the topics were. There's enough physical demand in that role to where I can make a hell of an argument for it. It's the sore thumb problem, right? And, and you say it wouldn't have ruined the movie. It may have still have been, let's say, like a three star affair where I could argue very strongly for four, four and a half. Hmm, I don't know if I'd even go that high on that film. We may have to explore it in a future required viewing. You always grade more harsh than me anyway. I, I, you will have to return to Batman Returns? <laughs> well, if you want to look at the highs and lows of Madonna's acting career, I can, I can easily sum it up. High, Dick Tracy. Low, die another day. Hmm. Yeah, you forget that she's in that. And it's a merciful no. case of amnesia. Yeah, no. I don't forget because that was probably the worst part of that worst movie. <laughs> well, Madonna was... can't sell a sentence and involves the word cockfight. You have a problem. I got to skip the obvious joke. <laughs> Kyle, it's yours. Go no, for it. Sorry, sorry, Fireball. I'm not doing that. 